So the thing is, when you've got a 3D printer and you've started doing CAD design, you think to yourself when making purchases, can I actually design something myself and then 3D print it? And that's exactly what the case was when I was looking for a MagSafe charger for my iPhone 16 Pro Max. So I was actually testing out the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6, the latest Samsung Fold phone. And one of the things I liked about it is you could kind of half fold the screen so you could use it as a stand. Think of it as a V lying down. You could use that to sort of prop half of the screen up so you can watch YouTube videos, etc. And I really found this handy when lying in bed. I could put it on the bedside table, lie on my side, and then watch some YouTube videos as I'm going to sleep. So as that was one of the things that I missed, I decided, well, let's utilize MagSafe, design something so I can have the phone on my bedside table, not only to show the date and time, because when iPhones are MagSafe on an angle, so sort of landscape they'll actually recognize that and display the time and date and things like that so it's really cool but i wanted it to play videos etc so i made my way to amazon had a look at a few of their designs fortunately i didn't really like any of them i wanted something quite basic and simple so i decided to buy two of the magsafe pucks because my wife also wanted one so the idea was get two pucks so i can make two so as with most of my projects nowadays they start in fusion 360. so let's have a quick look at the cad design of this very nice simple design for a magsafe dock for iphones so as you can see, we've gone for a very basic lollipop design. So the MagSafe puck is going to go in the back and then the wire will go through, straight through the pole and then out the back. Now, this is quite thin because obviously MagSafe, it has to magnetize it on there. If you have it too thick, your phone will just fall off. But I've tested this with an iPhone 16 Pro Max, which is the biggest and heaviest iPhone and it sticks just fine. And as you can see, this is where the wire comes out the back. So it didn't actually take me long to get this design nailed down. And if you want to print one yourself, there's a link in the description below for Maker World, of course, and then an Amazon link for the UK and US so you can buy the exact pucks that I did because they're a pack of two, they work really well, and they're actually really cheap. They do the job nicely, and it does give you USB-C or USB-A connectivity. So it's pretty much perfect. Now, of course, if you don't have a 3D printer, that's where today's sponsor comes in. Now, I actually got them to print one of these iPhone docks in resin. Then I got them to paint it in matte black. It looks amazing, and I'll show you that in a moment. But for now, here's a message from our sponsor, JLC PCB. Now, we've all heard of JLC PCB. They offer you a fast, reliable service at competitive prices for PCB manufacturing. They also do 3D printing parts. They offer FDM, resin prints, and can even get things printed in metal. Their highly trained staff will look at your 3D files, and make sure there's no sort of issues before they go ahead. But to order is nice and easy. Drag and drop your STL files, and then you can choose what material you want to get it printed in. And of course, this is a very cost effective way of getting a print if you're only wanting one and you don't want to go out and buy a printer just for this one thing. As always, check the links in the description below for the latest offers and more information. So thanks again to JLC PCB for sponsoring today's video. Now we're going to have a look at the ones that they 3D printed for me, the resin one in matte black, and then they done an FDM printed one just in PLA and that was in black as well. And then we're going to look at some of the ones that I've printed. So let's do that now. Now I know I'm being a little bit boring here because I got them both done in black, but there's a reason behind that because they're gonna go in our bedroom, one for me, one for the wife, and we wanted it to match and not sort of stick out too much. So the left one, the one I've got in my hands now, that's FDM printed in PLA. It looks really nice. This one is resin printed, and it's got a matte black paint finish. Now, 
There is a little bit of sticky tape here and stuff because I was testing off camera. So just ignore that. The finish when I received it was absolutely perfect. So here we have the magnetic fast wireless chargers that I decided to use. Now these are really cheap. I'll put a link to them in the description below, but you basically get two MagSafe chargers. They've got USB-C on the end and they have the USB-A adapters. Now this was actually more important than I thought and we'll go over that a little bit later on in the video. As I said, they're just MagSafe USB chargers. And if you have a look at this picture, it's very similar to what I've actually designed here. So we're going to get the FDM printed one set up. Now, as I said before, the USB-C cable was more important than I thought because it does fit through that hole. And of course, if you have the USB-A adapter on there, it's not going to fit. But once the cable's inserted, then of course you can fit it on. Now on the base, there is a little bit of a cutout for the cable to go through. And on the top, you want that lightning facing the back because that's the way it goes when it's charging. Now these should just push fit in definitely on the FDM printed one, but if you get it resin printed, then you might want to use a couple of double sided sticky tape, not too thick though, get it nice and thin. But as you can see, that's all put together and it's really easy to do. Now, of course, I did in fact decide to print one in orange. I think it looks really cool rather than just plain or boring black. And then I decided to combine them and make this really funky one that's orange and black. Looks really good. So there we have it. I really like the simple look and design. It doesn't look out of place on the bedside table. Now, I could have over engineered this and added RGB, etc. But because it was going in the bedroom and I was making one for the wife as well, I don't think that would have gone down too well. But anyway, I do like the design, but if you think I should make it a little bit more fancy, then let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you would print one yourself, and if so, what color. Now, if you have any ideas for projects you'd like me to take on, just like I did when Jeff asked me to do the Vita Doc, let me know in the comments below. I've got two new cool projects printing right now on the printers. So if you don't want to miss that, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and then hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. So that about wraps it up for this video. Thanks again for watching. I'm JP, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.